hello, hello. Welcome back. I think that's all I was gonna say. I'm coming at you live with a couple new jewelry pieces, but the main focus of this video is going to be how I stack my rings. So you'll notice I'm completely in the nude. I also am giving my nails a break from the fake nail situation because they're really just like, it's time for a break. That being said, let's get into the video. Let's get into the why you're here. So I wanna just talk about a few new rings that I got and then I'll show you how I typically stack my rings. First up on the new ring brigade, this is actually on my wish list video and Ben got it for me for our anniversary, which was so cute. So love him for that. But it's this tiny little signet ring and it has an N for noodle on it. That's what he got it personalized with. You can see it right here. It's basically just a small pinky ring. It has a circle of diamonds. It's hard to see the engraving, but there's a little N in the center. And he got that from Etsy. So another ring that I got that I'm so obsessed with is from TJ Maxx. Like TJ Maxx low key has really good jewelry. This is like an extremely hollow ring, but it's a cigar band. I can wear it on my pointer finger. It also fits on my thumb, which I like a lot. I love the look of like a chunky cigar band on the thumb. I think it's so cool. If you're okay with like, you know, a pure solid cigar band is very expensive because it's heavy, it's a lot of gold. But if you're okay with a hollow cigar band, TJ Maxx, that's great stuff. I'll link it below if it's still on their website. They do rotate through stuff pretty quickly. So I've noticed that sometimes I'll go back and look for something and it's no longer there. Can't remember if I've showed you all this pinky ring or not, so I'm sorry if this is old news. I think I did in my full updated jewelry collection, but it's just this little dangly C. This is from Baby Gold. I do like Baby Gold jewelry a lot too. So I'll show you how I would stack this with other bands on my pinky, but I love that a lot. The last new ring that I have that is kind of a sad ring for me to talk about because I'm actually selling this ring. I bought this ring literally less than a month ago I thought it would fit me and it's like a seven and a quarter, like a 7.25. So I thought it would fit me on my ring finger, one of my ring fingers. I really don't like how it looks with my wedding stack. So I've been trying to wear it on my right hand, but it's just a little too tight for my right hand. Like a little, it's hard for me to get off. And that's my biggest pet peeve. I feel like sensory overload when my rings are too tight. So I hate it. So I'm actually selling it. I listed it on Etsy. I'll put the link down below if anybody's interested, but truly like one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever seen. It's vintage and I'm so bummed I have to sell it. It's like 8.3 grams of solid gold, 14 karat, and then look at those baguette diamonds. Like they form this cool knotted texture, which I love and they're channel set baguette diamonds like so sparkly it's such a statement and it's freaking heavy like you can see this is a big thick boy like it's a big ring so if you want it check it out it's awesome it's on my etsy um and i'm so sad that it didn't work out i'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for something similar that's just more true to size this is the one downside with vintage is that sometimes i get so excited because i'll see a piece that I'm like, oh my God, that's such a good price. I've wanted something so similar for so long. And I'm, I'm, I want it so badly that I'm like, yeah, 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 I can squeeze into that size. Or like, oh, like I'll, I'll get it resized. Like I'll make it work. And then I get it home and I never resize it. And it doesn't work for me. So I just need to be more, I need to have better willpower. If this little baby feels like she would be at home in your collection, please, please, please get her. I'll miss her so much, but. So beautiful. Okay, so I think those are the newest rings that I have to show you. Let's get to stacking. The first stack I'm gonna do is like a, I would call this a stacky stack. So lots of little rings, lots of thin rings instead of chunkier rings. So the first stack is the stacky stack. We're gonna start with this little C pinky ring, classic, dainty. This is a half size too big for the finger that I'm wearing it on, so I put it on the bottom and I also put it on the bottom so you get the full dangle, full dangle effect. Then on top, I put a bold stacker because I want a little bit of chunk and I like how shiny and thick it is. 
Next, I'm gonna put my two classic stacking rings I always wear on my pinky. A thin, plain gold band. This one's from Catbird. And then next is this textured painter band from Catbird that has these little kind of knobby knobs in the gold, which I think is so pretty. So it's four rings total, and it creates a very chunky look, but it's four very thin rings, with the exception of the, the boulder stacker. But So that's the first finger. I love the look of pinky, ring finger, middle finger, all rings, and then leaving the pointer finger and the thumb empty. I don't know, I think that looks so cool. I love the look of pinky and ring finger next to each other, I just think it's so pretty. So next up we're gonna do my original wedding stack, which I don't wear as often anymore in favor of my newer vintage wedding stack. So next up we have my wedding band. This is a gold with little dot diamonds all the way around. That's my wedding band. And then after that, we're going to add on the engagement ring. You guys know the drill. Solitaire, oval cut, two carat, lab grown diamond. And then next up, we're going to add my wavy wedding band. This is my second wedding band. So it kind of nestles on top and it has a little bit of a gold wave. So that's the stack all together. I love it. I think it's, I love the look of creating chunkier stacks out of thinner rings. And I think this is so pretty and such a simple way to do it. So if you want to get a little bit crazy and add the middle finger, which is why we're here, let's do it. I'm going to, on my middle finger, put on this little, very tiny beaded um, like chain ring. It's so like dainty, you can kind of barely see it, but it's just, just beaded little gold beads. It's more just to add texture because at this point I have a lot of pretty much like solid flat gold going on and I want a little bit of texture. After the beaded ring, we're gonna put on this channel cut yellow and white gold with diamonds Simple stacking band. Super basic, but I like that it adds a bit of diamond back because at this point, this whole ring is, this whole finger is solid gold. This finger is the wedding stack, and now we're adding a bit of diamond back on the middle finger. We're going to add this little stacky solid gold domish band. It has like one or two very tiny diamonds in it, but they're very not noticeable. And then finally, we're gonna add the thinnest little stacker. This is from Local Eclectic super thin it has these little satellite diamonds in it it's really hard for the camera to focus on it so that is what like a stacky stack would look like for me on my left hand i would leave the pointer and thumb blank because i just have so many rings going on these fingers and when you are far away it just sort of looks like i have like a chunkier situation but when you get close up you realize that there's a lot of detail going on which i love we're going to style the exact same hand with some of the same rings, but to create a very different look. So I'm gonna take the whole pinky set right off. We're gonna start over on the pinky. I'm gonna take the whole middle finger set right off. And I'm gonna take half of the wedding set off. And we'll go again. First up, this time around on the pinky. We're gonna start with the N signet ring. So we're going, this is like a chunky set. Less rings per finger, but each ring is larger and chunkier in size. So we're starting off with the chunky N signet ring. All you need on a pinky, she's big, she's bulky. Next, on the ring finger, we're gonna add my vintage wedding band. Super chunky, very sparkly. This is also a sparklier set because you have the diamonds and the signet, the diamonds here. We're going sparkly this set. Next up, we're gonna add my wedding band. This is also nice because this is about a half size too big. So I need something on top to keep it from sliding too much. Wedding band. And then we're going to finish with the engagement ring. You could honestly leave the engagement ring off in this set and it would still look really cool. So. That is what the pinky and ring finger look like. We're already feeling chunkier and bolder. On the middle finger, we're going to add something else that's super, super chunky and very glittery. The belt buckle vintage ring. Classic. 
So this is a very sparkly, shiny, glittery, diamond heavy set. If you don't love the diamond look as much and you feel like you wanted to go back to gold, totally, I would do something chunkier and gold on this middle finger then. So you could do something like a croissant dome, super, super chunky, sort of add a bit more gold to the stack and less diamonds. Or you could just leave it blank, honestly, and just rock these two because there's a lot going on. Sometimes too with this stack, I'll skip pointer and middle finger and add in the chunky cigar band on the thumb. So you have these two, two empty fingers, and then a thumb ring, which I think is super cool. I think thumb rings are like coming back. I used to wear thumb rings all the time in high school and I feel like they're very much coming back and I love it. So that's another way to sort of get a really chunky looking stack. You could also do it on the pointer, this guy. I don't love this as much on me just because this on my pointer, especially without long nails, makes my pointer feel like a little sausage finger and I just don't like how that looks on me. Ew, what a visual. Don't think about that. So I tend to lean toward just this, honestly. I feel like it's simple enough that I'm like, there's still a lot of chunk going on, totally fine. On my right hand, I've been loving a few different combinations. So I've been putting the cigar band, the chunky cigar on my middle finger. I think I've told you guys this before, but my right hand is significantly bigger. So this guy actually fits on my right finger. And then on top of that, I add the belt buckle ring. This combo has been my go-to lately because they're both kind of a dome ring feel and together they're just so freaking chunky and cute and you have the glittery sparkle of this and this has way more detail and this is like so simple that it adds a lot of chunk without overdoing it on like the, the, the um, detail, you know? So I'll do that and then I'll kind of keep it simple on my pointer finger and just add a plain gold dome ring. Super simple, very minimal. Sometimes I'll do two gold dome rings. This one has little starburst diamonds in it. This is kind of a lot going on because it's like double, 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 and they're all pretty similar in width and in chunk. So it's a bit too much for me. I feel like I like to vary the chunkiness per finger. So that's kind of another like classic combo is the dome ring on the pointer and then those two. Something else I really like is adding a dome ring on the ring finger here, like that. I feel like that looks really nice too. It's a lot of gold. These dome rings, this is a cigar kind of style dome ring versus this one, which is a more traditional like bubble dome ring. I think it's also called a bomb ring, bomb ring. So I like that a lot. Another combo that I feel like I gravitate toward is just like keeping it really simple with this. And then if I'm not wearing a thumb ring on this finger, I'll put a thumb ring on this finger. So it looks more like this. You'll notice that I very rarely wear the same ring, the same fingers on both hands have rings. Like I leave, if these two have rings, I'll leave these two empty. And that's cause I just like to create, I don't like too much symmetry. I like it to be like very asymmetrical. I also sometimes just like more simple. So I'll just do the croissant dome on this middle finger and then I'll just add the normal dome on this pointer finger and just leave it super simple. Cause this hand has a lot going on. So sometimes I just crave simplicity on this hand. And I feel like I keep it more minimal. It just kind of depends. Also, if I'm going this more minimal route, I'll add the champagne eternity band, the champagne diamond eternity band on the pointer, because now it's like so many different kind of colors and textures of gold. And then this has a little bit of a diamond touch, but not too much. So I, I guess like my rules of thumb when I stack is that I play with like texture. I play with how chunky I want to go versus how like dainty and stacky I want to go. And then I try to keep both hands very different and kind of give each hand its own vibe. And that tends to be how I stack. The last ring that I didn't really talk about, another way to kind of play with texture in a chunkier stack is to add a chain ring. I have this one from Missouri. So I would start with the chain ring on my middle finger, simple. And then I might add the belt buckle ring like that for a very textured stack. I also, instead of the belt buckle ring, might add the croissant ring because I feel like the croissant with the change looks so pretty together. I love that. Such a dynamic duo. 
and then I might actually wear the cigar on my pointer. So that's another stack that I do. Or I'll keep it a little bit simpler and wear the thin dome ring. Another element is comfort. Like this stack is very comfortable because the dome rings have very thin backs so I can still write, use my mouse, like do everything I need to do with my right hand, but I have a lot of chunkiness going on versus something like the cigar band that is so thick all the way around, it's hard to like write when I wear it. So that's also kind of factors in, like am I just going out and about and I don't really need to like write, use a mouse type. I'll go for chunkier rings and less practicality, but if I'm at home working all day, I go for practicality and comfort a little bit more. So yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it today. I'm really loving this stock right now. I think it's really cute. This is the final look. I hope that this helped some of you guys that are looking to start stacking your rings more. Um, and you're curious how to build a perfect stack, stack, so to speak. I also don't think there's anything, there is such thing as like a perfect stack. It's all about just like being creative and having fun and using what you like. So definitely just like use what you have, get creative and play around. Like just try them all on together and see what you like and see what you're inspired by. That would be my biggest recommendation. And don't forget if you're interested in this little beauty right here, love of my life, the Etsy link for her is down below if you wanna take her home. I'm gonna miss her, but she's going to a better home. Somebody that can actually wear her every day because she'll fit their finger. Anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!